Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. This video is about a website called Trello that you can use with your students for collaboration and for project management. It's really cool that way. Now, first of all, this website is called Trello. It's not Zillow and it's not Trulia. Those are two websites used for real estate and apartments. For some reason, Trello has a name that sounds like a combination of both of them. No, this is a website for collaboration. Importantly, it has login with Google. We love login with Google. It makes it so easy for those of us in G Suite District. So let's do that right now. And if you notice, because I initially installed this on my phone, I have that board that uh, Trello gives you. This is one that I've been collaborating with some friends on. And this is an example I've already made. Let's make a new board real quick. And so I'll call it, say, Philadelphia, just giving it a random name. It is not, it is private until you do something with it. So change background. I could change to a different color. Or better yet, I really like going with one of their photos and you can search all of their photos. I really like this Philadelphia background here. It's really, really nice. So that is that background right there. From there, you then, what you do is you add cards to this or you add lists. So you add a list and so you could call this like day one and from there, you add cards. So I'll add a card, I'll call it. When you tap on a card on a list, you get all these wonderful options. You can give it labels where you add a color. I'll just do that real quick. You'll see that render in a second, it actually rendered right there. You can add comments, you can give it a description. Look at the checklists, the due dates, you can archive them, but really nicely, you can give attachments and attachments can be links, but they can more importantly be Google Drive files. How nice is that? Notice activity on the right side here. So I've just created this board and it's giving me the activity that we've been doing. It gives me view all activity. Let's look at a board where there's been some collaboration already. So my San Francisco board, this is in collaboration with some friends. A couple of them are visiting San Francisco. A couple more are their cousin and husband who live in San Francisco. And then my wife and I who are about to move to San Francisco. Now, a couple things, please notice over here on the right side, we have all of this as far as what people have been doing here. Under here, we have a link. This was directly from my desktop. This was a link from uh, from Yelp. From there, you see these comments and whatnot. You can also tag people. This is Gloria Amerson, my innovative colleague who turned me on to Trello. Thank you so much, Gloria. Um, if you notice here for Coit Tower, I put a lot of content. I put in this link to this YouTube movie. I put in these pictures I took years ago at Coit Tower in Google Drive. So you notice they have a little preview. Notice I have that Google Drive button right there. And so, and then there's the uh, YouTube video that I put in as well. It's, it's really, really cool. And then if you notice for Berkeley, I labeled one card on the list blue and the other gold for Ber for Cal's colors. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. As you can see, you can change your background. You have other options here. Trello, by and large, it's a tool I have not seen used in education yet, but it is a tool that businesses are using, people are using in their personal lives to help collaborate. As you can see, we're doing right here. I highly recommend it. If you like this video, please check out videos on my channel. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much for watching.